Barley was one of the first cultivated grains, dating back 10,000 years ago, and its popularity has never waned. Today, barley is the fourth highest produced grain in the world, behind rice, wheat, and corn. And it's very popular in health food circles thanks to its high level of dietary fiber. And today, Becky's here to show us a new way to enjoy this ancient grain. That's right. It really is an ancient grain. It dates all the way back to the Egyptians. I'm going to be making a main course salad featuring barley, and it'll have some nice Egyptian flavor. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I have four quarts of water boiling here. I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt. We're going to be cooking the barley using a pasta method. That just means boiling it in lots of water. This is pearl barley, and you want to make sure to look for that, not hold or holeless barley. It'll cook faster than the other types. And it'll hold together better. That's right. I'm going to put this in the boiling water. This will take 20 to 40 minutes to cook, and I know that's kind of a wide range, but we found that different brands just took different amounts of time. So you want to start checking it at 20 minutes, and then when it's tender, you can drain it out of the water. So our barley cooked for 30 minutes. I drained it and I spread it out on a sheet tray here so it could cool off. It's been cooling for 15 minutes, so we can go ahead and make our salad. We're starting with three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I also have some pomegranate molasses. Ooh, I love pomegranate molasses. Sweet, tart, mm -hmm. syrupy. It's one of my favorite ingredients too. It's just really boiled down pomegranate juice. And if you can't find it at the store, you can go ahead and make it yourself at home. It's pretty easy to make. That's right. And for a good DIY pomegranate molasses recipe, check out our website at americastestkitchen.com. So I'm adding two tablespoons of that pomegranate molasses. It's going to add a really nice sweet tart flavor. And I also have some other Egyptian spices here. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a really interesting dressing with the pomegranate molasses and the cinnamon. It's going in a very cool direction. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Quarter teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to whisk that up. So we're building our dressing in a big bowl here. Now we can just go ahead and add the salad ingredients right to the bowl. Let's put our cooled barley in. So this trick of spreading out a grain to let it cool before tossing in a salad works for all sorts of things like potatoes, rice, and even quinoa. Let's mix in our barley here. That pomegranate molasses is almost taking the place of a vinegar in this dressing. That's right, because like I said, it has a lot of acidity and a little bit of sweetness too. Such a great ingredient. I'm also adding a quarter cup of chopped toasted pistachios, and I actually toasted these in the microwave. Put them on a shallow dish, put them in the microwave. Just want to stir them every minute until they start to brown. After that, start checking them every 30 seconds. Very clever. Yeah, really, really good tip, especially for a small amount. Yeah. And then a third of a cup of golden raisins. And when we were testing this recipe, we actually liked these better than the more traditional dark raisins. Both dark and golden raisins are made from green seedless grapes. They're actually just treated in different ways. The dark raisins are left in the sun to dry for several weeks, mm -hmm. and the golden ones are dried mechanically, and then the sulfur dioxide is added. That's right, but the flavor is actually quite different. It is. I find the golden ones to be a bit more fragrant and a little less hearty, a little less raisiny, for lack of a better word. Yeah, a little fruitier, a little fresher tasting. Okay, so we'll set that aside for a minute. I'm also going to be preparing a pomegranate. A lot of sources will tell you that the best way to get the seeds out of a pomegranate is to cut it in half and whack it really hard. With <laughs> I've them. done that. I've, I've done it, it too. It makes a total mess. It's a disaster, And right? pomegranate juice stains, yes. so it makes a mess everywhere. Yeah, we found a way that's a little bit easier. First, I'm just going to cut off this blossom end. I'm going to score the pomegranate six times, just cutting through the skin here. One more time. And I'm going to separate this into sections. And I'm, I'm going to put it under water now so that I, the juice, as you can see, is really messy. So if I work under water, it's going to contain the juice. So I just bend this backwards and it frees all of the seeds. And then I can just kind of pop them out. The seeds will go to the bottom of the dish and all these little white membranes will float to the top. The membranes float, the seeds sink, and you have clean pomegranate seeds. That's right. When shopping for pomegranates, choose ones that are large, heavy, so they have a lot of seeds inside, and make sure it has a hard skin on the outside. Also, know that the color of the rind can vary from a bright pink to a dark brick red, but that doesn't tell you anything about ripeness. It's just a varietal difference. So I finished up the pomegranates. I'm just going to drain this. So here's my pomegranate seeds. I'm just going to measure out a half a cup. Now, any extra you have, you can refrigerate those for up to five days, and they taste good in all kinds of salads. Yeah, I would actually gobble those up myself. I probably wouldn't refrigerate them. <laughs> or it's a kitchen snack. <laughs> That's right. So we'll put this over here. This is a composed salad. We're not going to mix everything in. We're going to make some nice, pretty layers on oh, top. Oh, nice. Yeah. But before we do that, I'll add a half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Always good to add your fresh herbs just before serving. That way they don't wilt down. That's right. 
So if you want to hand me that platter. Ooh, this is a nice Mediterranean looking platter. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. So many nice colors and textures. Okay, so we'll just put this out on the platter. And I'm going to arrange the remaining ingredients on top in diagonal rows to make this look really pretty. I'll spread this out to give myself a little base here. What should I start with? Maybe the pomegranates? Mm, yes. Little gems they look like. I know, they sparkle. They're so pretty. Looks really nice. <laughs> I love it. Three ounces of feta, so nice and salty. Mm, adds creamy. Some, yeah, adds a little bit of richness. And then I have six scallion greens that I'm going to add for my green row here. And so not the whites, just the greens. That's right, the greens are peppery, they have a nice grassiness, whereas the whites are milder, so we're gonna use the bolder part of the scallion. Ta-da! Now we have some olive oil here, I'm just gonna give this a nice little drizzle, just to add a little more richness. Gorgeous. Now that makes a beautiful lunch or a light oh, dinner. What a presentation, I mean, this is worthy of company. It really is, I agree. So you notice I have our serving bowls already. <laughs> you are ready. It's a looker, but it also looks delicious. Let me serve you up here, and I'm going to make sure and get you some of all the goodies. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, this was a real snap to put together. I mean, all you really had to do is make the barley and then toss it with the vinaigrette and some ingredients. Really easy. Really good for you. Mmm. It's very unique. It is. The flavor of the barley has a heartiness, but then you get the cinnamon, and you get the pomegranate and molasses. Sweet. Salty, mm -hmm. lots of texture, lots of color. Thank oh, good. you. You're welcome. To make this salad, boil barley in salted water until tender, then let it drain and cool before tossing it with a pomegranate vinaigrette. Garnish with lots of fresh Mediterranean ingredients, including feta and pomegranate seeds, and you're golden. From our test kitchen to your kitchen, a wonderful new recipe for Egyptian barley salad. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.